Jack E. Thank you. And it's like, oh my God, but, uh, I'm doing a bit of vlogging. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my bedroom. Um, Mag-isa ako ngayon kasi nasa work si Papa. Aww. Um, so sad to say na nagkaroon ako ng... Um, I'm not well on my knees again. So naka-off sick ako ngayon. But anyway, well, let's not talk about it. But I'm hoping and praying I'm gonna be fine. I'm just waiting for doctor's appointment soon. And I'm hoping it's just only checking or so. But anyways, let's not talk about that. Um, we're talking about this time is about um, DIYs, reaction videos about DIYs and home uh, making skills um, or showing ideas how to beautify the homes, gardens everything and hacks at saka mga simple uh, DIYs and uh, organization perhaps I have loads of um, favorite shows and vlogs and I'm going to do it like today is part one and maybe next time part two or three you never know so this time I'm going to share it to you the videos of a sorry girls which is three girls who lived in canada i don't know the the middle the the other girl's name but all i know is it's becky and kelsey so hello girls i'm sorry i, I forgot your um name the new uh, lady in sorry girls but they're all fabulous they're good and gorgeous at the same time and I like their ideas very much. So, doon ako kumukuha ng ideas and stuff. And also, I'm going to share as well a video locally in the Philippines named Eloy, which is my favorite as well. Um, she does more on some decorations, decorator of the house, um, DIY, some DIYs, and a bit of organization and she's a lovely person as well with the whole family um she's in the philippines as well with with her husband they are um you know lovely couple with their families but anyway um they're doing some diy stuffs and uh homemaking uh stuffs for other homes and their homes at the same time so i'll show you first the first video will be the sorry girls and i hope you enjoy hello hi i would like to uh have um Ang tawag ito, um, reaction about um, DIY this time. So, uh, I will introduce you maybe one or two most um, famous um, DIYer and uh, one of the famous um, girls. <laughs> the sorry girls they do diys crafts and uh, fashion and also they do um, um uh, well diy sorting out things organizing everything um magaling sila sila yung um they renovate or they they um they do a proper DIY in garden inside the house in others ha in other houses or their their spaces or in their office because my office is in Canada. I think they are they from Canada, so I always watch them most of the time. If I got time, kasi nag-work tayo the same time. So, 
ayun, um, bale, short reaction lang to, mga guys. So, um, yun. So, we'll start now. If you are new to our channel or to the Making Home series, this is a series... Or to the Making Home series, this... If you are new to our channel or to the Making Home series, this is a series of oh, making my house that I bought almost two years ago into my home. I actually have no idea how to do this. Like, I, I don't even really know where to start. Water! We don't serve water here. Rachel, I think I might hate it. Hmm. And thanks to Salesforce for sponsoring a portion of this video. I think this was last year. So far, I've renovated the whole house and decorated the living room, the bathroom, the bedroom, almost every interior space. In the last couple episodes, we've been focusing on the exterior. There is still a lot to do up here. Shall we hit it? <laughs> In those episodes, you learned about my plans for the space. I started some demo, lots of cleanup was done. My construction team came in and demoed. They also did some front stone work. They also redecked. That's we built nice. a dream storage Very area nice. for waste and garbage. <laughs> and I even refinished a new door, which leads me to where we are now. The contractors have come in since I was away and installed my new door, which is looking fabulous. With Actually, they are good. They um, restore things like the door, as she said earlier. That was, uh, they do it like, modernizing the space modernizing the things they're good on thrifting as well so just like the others that i watch so yun so we'll see again i might probably cut some kasi para mas short yung video and so that we can probably um make a little bit of space for the others if we can all right so yun the new Alfred lock and in this episode we need to finish everything that means landscaping staining the decks painting the garage so many final touches to bring this whole space together it's a lot of work <laughs> but I'm gonna get started with some plant shopping and I'd love it if you got started by subscribing if you haven't already because we would definitely love to see you here more often I think my first stop is going to be the nursery so I can figure out what the plant game situation is and then we'll get back and get gardening. Oh my god! You get 25% off. You get 25% off. This is great. This is what I need. Something evergreen that'll look good when it's winter in the backyard. You want to come home with me? Yeah, I think it's much better, especially in countries like here in UK or in Canada or parts in America na forever na nag snow or cold weather. Mostly, it's much better to have a um, perennial plants, as they call it. My husband uh always always um like to buy those things although he likes the petunias the um surfinias as they call, as he call it um but those are like the seasonal plants like the flowers for uh spring summer and sometimes autumn um the thing is mas maganda it's much better to have a perennial plants because you can just take care you know even if less uh less maintenance at the same time like the trees or the um conifers you know um or other like the evergreens as you said in there so it's much better for if you live in the country like you know like here in uk but if you live in a country like in the philippines of obviously you have plenty of tropical plant plants so unfortunately as well if you want like the winter plants like the pine trees i think you can but i don't know maybe hindi to mag mag 
ano, mag magiging okay. I don't know. But like, like the apple, you know, I don't know if there's any apple that they planted in the Philippines or in other uh, tropical countries. But, um, you know, it's only for uh, cold weather countries. Mga ganon, mga... UK, America, something like that. But anyway, we can just continue then. I need to take this one on a date so it can tell me a little bit more about itself because I don't even know its name. It just says annual. Annual what? Pretty dumb. I feel like I'm kind of saving these guys. They were left behind after the whole season. Come with me. I always well want a jungle car. Her too. All year round. We filled her up. Hanging plants. There's a lot to tidy up in the front yard. Though I said ivy is good for um, hanging plants. But also be careful if you put it near to the wall of your house. If you don't like any ivy that will crawl to the walls of your house exterior. And I think even interior as well. Because maganda rin siya pang outside. So, um, basically, yun, tignan nyo yung mga pwedeng ilagay, lalo dito sa UK or other places in outside Philippines. Um, you can just, ano, um, research what, what, uh, plants do you want to, uh, use to your house, ganon. So, ayun. Inaan konting advice ko lang. At saka mga food nila, depends yan eh. Pwede. Marami kang matututunan sa YouTube talaga. As in, pati yung food na mga plants, how to take care of them, yung mga exterior, exterior, exterior and interior plants. So, ayun. Yard and the back garden bed was totally empty until now. So, it's forward and not in. Yo, that's pretty good. It feels really nice. So, where can it stop? The same thing. But, like, when it's closed. It'll be like that. Yeah. Pretty good. Looks great. Oh, hi! Hi! <laughs> I've just been standing here observing. They look amazing. French doors and sliding doors. You know, if if you have a small space, which is I uh, um at times I wanna do it and I'm doing it as well. Lalo dito sa bahay. I think there's one particular room that it has been um like downstairs, one of the living rooms there or receiving room. Um, apparently before it was a outdated na um, sliding door I think it was like 80s perhaps or 70s pa yung door that, that time I would I to be honest with you kung marami akong door if, if I have tools and if I know how to do it to restore it I will probably restore it but thing is um, it's unrestorable kasi dahil ano na basag na it's cracked the, the glass were cracked already and the handles were not good or anymore so it's hard to restore but the body itself yung mismo frame ng door was fine so anyway i was saying to to you to this because that was a sliding door on one of our our room before so um i wanted to restore that but i can't so we just chuck it out we just remove it and we bought a new door which is similar to here you mga ordinary doors lang but um also i didn't um save the yung pulleys nakita niyo doon sa ano sa yung sa video na para siyang barn door you know that there is different kinds of like sliding doors that you can buy Unfortunately, nung time na bumili ako, wala dito sa BNQ, wala din nata sa Trago. So, what I did was order it online. I think I bought it in eBay, if I'm not mistaken. Kasi at the time, I don't have any 
um, Amazon account yet at that time. Yung asawa ko lang meron pero hindi niya masyadong ginagamit nung time na yon. But, um, yeah, it was, um, I, I, we did, we did restore the style, but we didn't restore the things itself talaga. Um, but it ended up well. Although may mga konti pang kailangan ni touches, ganun, pero it doesn't matter naman na kasi how many years na kami dito, God willing, eh, magiging four na, God willing, sa December, So, as far as I know, okay naman pag pupunta mga bisita namin, well, I'm proud to say na nagiging, ano sila, parang masaya, proud din sila, parang, parang wow, ganun. Proud din naman, syempre, kasi ako yung, kami yung nag-ayos ng asawa ko, pati si Kuya Felix. Hello, Kuya Felix, asawa ni Ate Emi. Magaling din siya sa mga ganyan, kasi carpenter din siya. Um, I think nasa Pilipinas siya this, this year, this mid-year. Pero babalik siya this next year, hopefully. Uh, nag vacation lang siya. So, anyway, yun. Kaya, I, um, it's much better to, if you have a house na maliit, you have to research and look for things na um, it can save the space like this one i'll show you now i have i'm in my bedroom so pasensya na sa gulo um eto yan apparently this is a sliding door see you can see the the mirror there with my jacket on the door itself talaga so before nasa kabila yung ano yung um Nandito yun sa kabila yung, yung um, original na, um, uh, tawag nito, original na cabinet. But we just remove it kasi luma na siya. Then we bought this one. We bought this one. So, uh, we bought it, I think it was last year, I think we bought it. So, um, instead of pulling the door... I'd rather have the sliding door kasi it saves space talaga. So, that's what I was saying as well with downstairs. Instead of pulling the door talaga, um, sliding door talaga mas mabuti. At the same time, ganun din yung, yung sa, uh, kay ano, kay Kelsey dito sa Sorry Girls, she used um, a space-saving and beautiful doors. I think it is, Uh, restored as well if i'm not mistaken uh, and then she just bought the bolts or the um parang peg or or pulleys you know to connect the beautiful doors that she had in her garage by her outside her garden so it is more luxurious to see and beautiful talaga comedy din minsan eh. Okay, I had to run to the hardware store this morning to get some deck stain because it's deck staining day. I asked the contractors who built the deck to do this, but apparently you have to let the wood dry out for a month or two. So here we are. I'm ready to stain. I've never stained a deck before. I have my semi-transparent stain. It looks very gray, which I'm, I wasn't going for gray. I was going for like dark brown, similar to the dark brown of my brick. But I did test it out, and I think the warmth of the, the wood plus, you know, the cool tone will equal, hopefully, the perfect brown tone. Normally, apparently, they sell samples the same way that they sell paint samples, but they were out of the sample version. So we're just going to go for it. So I also bought this fancy little, little deck brush. It's like a mop, but for putting on deck stain so I think this will be a really good option and then my only other goal is not to paint my not to stain myself into a corner let's give it a try actually yung pad niya there is also a similar pad for um for the walls um apparently I got those and then I use it in our walls couple of years back to paint the walls here in the house out no inside lang mostly inside lang naman ang ano pinintorahan namin so ayun so 
you know, if you wanted to do a DIY on your house, you have to research, you have to, you have to have an open mind, you have to um, feel your intuit- intuitive, ang tawag nun. At saka at the same time, you need to focus on your imagination. Kasi without your imagination, you cannot do anything. You know, you have a, you should have a good imagination and, you know, um, research on things. But at least, the more you do that, the more you're going to, the more that your house will be more beautiful, as as they say. <laughs> so, I don't know if I, that is correct, but that's what I felt when we when we had the house. Mostly, mga 95% or 90 to 95% kami talagang gumawa. At mostly, mga 85% ako yung gumawa. <laughs> Mga ganun. So, yung mga katulad sa mga uh, shed namin dito, ako yung nag-direct. Mostly, nag-direct naman ako. Tinutulungan naman ako ng asawa ko. O minsan siya naman, may idea siya. Yun. Yun ang kagandaan sa mag-asawa or mag-partner. You have to open up your, you know, like, um, imagination, your your views. And then, you just mix it up with his views. And then, the outcome... Yun na yun. So, parang partnership lang naman ng pag, ano, eh, pag, uh, pag-aayos ng bahay, mag-renovate ng bahay. So, tuloy na natin. Better dry, more brown than gray, I swear. Actually, it's so wide ko Looks na. good, like the teal looks good. <laughs> that had a long enough arm. For their gl- glory, and then I'll just cut around them. When I put on this paint color... Which I'm so excited for. So, I chose the Aura line by Benjamin Moore. This one is good for exterior. And it's the color Cabbage Patch. So, obviously, it's mm-hmm. green. I chose a slightly darker shade green than my front door. And as you can see here, I don't know what this is from. Is this my front door? Or is this my fireplace? I don't know. I, lo- I love green. <laughs> but I'm hoping this really is dark because I, I don't want it to stand out too much. I mean... Good. How does it look with the fence? The fence, the deck. Oh yeah. Just natural beauties those are. Okay, let's get to it. It's like subtle, which is nice. It's not like bright green. It's not in your face. install back here. I actually ordered this one like months ago and I've been waiting to install it. So this guy is going to go in the garage. I'll show you why it was a really good find. But this one I actually just ordered to replace this one. It just doesn't feel overly right for the space. So let's take a look at what I ordered here. Ooh. Came with two. I'll just have to I like so the other one. Also, I really liked this one because it didn't have an wow. integrated LED, yeah. which so many lights nowadays do. But I don't like that because what if the color temperature is wrong? I don't know. What if the light bulb breaks and then the whole fixture is garbage? I don't know. This is nice, though. Oh, I see. Oh, my God, there's so many wasps now. They're mad because I took down their home. And I know because you guys are wondering, did I turn off the breaker? Yes, I turned off the breaker. Did I turn off the breaker? I don't want to die. Actually, I turned off the breaker to the whole house, so I got to work quickly because my tenant is upstairs. Don't want her to be without power for too long. I'm glad this is reality and not like some fancy show because then my hands can look like this. If this was like some network TV show. Somebody would be coming in cleaning my hands. 
But also, that's not a bad thing either. If I just got like on the spot manicures. Anyways, I do my own stunts. If you have a proper uh, looks good. Tool I like that better. better. Then, um, what do you think, Rachel? Oh, well, then perfect. Then you, can you like it? Yeah, a lot better. Than project, <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, manpower or friends. Oh my! Ah! It's like gray. You're expecting black? Yeah. Oh, it's like. What the f is this? It's like you can't really tell, but I can also paint it. So remember how I was just like, I hate integrated LEDs? This one is an integrated LED, but the reason I needed it is because it's hard to find a light other than the one that was just up here, which is like a simple flush mount. It's hard to find a light like this that had a long enough arm, which I probably should have opened it before this exact moment. And I would have seen that A, it's not really black, it's kind of more gray. And B, it's like a little tight. Dane's face. I don't know. Not my house. What if I just... I don't really know what the other option would be. <laughs> I feel like it's working. Barely. Yeah, but look at the light now. Like, the light's not leveled at all. <laughs> Like, this is the longest goose snack of all the goose snacks, you know? You know? But, like, the goose snack is the part that doesn't work. I'm gonna make like, trial you go and error the same way. Way. Yeah, that doesn't look great. It's better than what was up there. I kind of disagree. <gasps> Can we put the one you put, took off there on here? Because it wasn't an awful light. Ironic. Not great. Not great. Ideally, I wanted something long. Like, what's in my basement? Do you know about my bathtub? Yeah. Yeah. Circle back. I need to turn back on the power. Nobody touch that, okay? Hey, okay. <laughs> it worked. Looks good. Well, since Miss Gooseneck didn't work out, I am going to see if there's anything else available online. Okay, got that on order. It should come in time. We will see. But in the meantime, I saw I got this package. So let's take a look at what's inside. I ordered these guys from Homey Depot. And I'm definitely going to be doing hardware on these garage doors as well as the sliding doors. But I also ordered some from Lee Valley. And let's see how that differs. I didn't know if I wanted to do like one style on one side, one style on the other. Just so that it was a little bit different and not so matchy matchy. Okay, so this is the more... The less delicate option. This is more of a a delicate option. You know what I'm thinking? Hmm. <laughs> I think on these little sliding doors, we do the little the little delicate moment. And I think on the big front doors, we do the the big one. That's a good idea. So I forward ko na para this lesson oras natin. So let's see. Yung kanyang ginawa. Perfect. We don't want to be any shorter than this because we'll hit that. We'll hit the two by four right here. Okay. 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 That's it. It's no, no going back now. We dead. Did we turn off the breaker? Did we turn off the breaker? Did we turn off the breaker? I don't want to die. Also, so if you guys don't know, where there's like a wet area, I'm sure you guys have noticed this in your kitchen, in your bathroom, exterior plugs have a GFI outlet with a little reset button. This guy, reset button. This one's white, you can't really see it too well. But this did not have it. And I was like, Dad, shouldn't I have this? So we're putting in a GFI here, which will now apply to all of the power here since everything comes through here. You don't care, but now you know. Actually, nangyari din sa amin yan, nagka-short 
uh, circuit nung nag stay pa kami sa rented house. When we were staying in the rented house, just around the corner lang naman, um, we had a garage that, um, kasi electric garage yun eh. So, we had a socket or, um, how do you call this now? Um, a plug. Uh, sa inside the garage but unfortunately even if it is made out of cement kasi usually it's always ra um, raining here at saka may snow, nagmumoy so eventually it started to have problems so parati nag alarm yung system namin sa bahay uh, nag short circuit mga ganun Buti na lang kamot merong ano eh, um, electric box ba tawag noon dito. So, yun ang kagandahan lang dito sa UK kasi safe yung mga um, electric boxes nila dito. Unless kung siguro hindi siya na-update or kaya kailangan every time chinecheck yan. Especially if you're renting, renting a house or you're, you're um, letting the house to, to another person. So, but for for us kasi matagal naman dang hindi na check although safe naman din awa ng Dios na check naman nung nung pumunta dito ng electrician recently so awa ng Dios okay naman but yeah you have to be careful if you have a moist uh, area na uh, you had a socket or a plug outside your garage mga ganun. so you have to be careful on that thing So one of today's tasks is getting some decor up on the fence. Mounted wall planters are a great option, but these need some drainage holes and a quick paint job. Ganda. That's a good I don't know DIY. if I like it, but... You know sometimes people just rub mud into things? Oh yeah. That's a vibe. Is it a vibe? Is that a vibe? Worst part about any project really is just the prep. The prep usually takes longer than it actually takes to DIY anything. So here we are. I'm just gonna prep this mirror because the brass is not quite the vibe. wait for that stuff to dry um, I'm going to try to turn in this turn this little bird bath into a fountain and to do that I bought this solar powered little fountain pump online actually yun ang ginawa ko actually yan ako kumuha ng idea din eh kasi that's the time that's the idea that I've had as well we got a uh, actually I got before a bowl a plastic bowl kasi i didn't have any bird bath before but that's the thing if you are going to see a um a thrift shop or charity shop kasi marami dong mga goodies mga good uh, things like bird baths or planters or anything for garden or ornaments mga ganun and also for inside houses and stuff like that so apparently my husband bought two um two um planter yung planter na yon is an old it's a beautiful ornament na parang i think you've seen it as well in some of the scenes na pinofocus ko sa garden and outside garden um bale it is like a, a shape of a bird bat but it's Malalim siya, it's a bit deeper. And um, that's why I put the water and a bit of plant. And I have a plastic um, lotus uh, lily, parang ganun. Um, and the solar uh, fountain. 
So, yun ang ginawa din niya. So, that is the idea so that I did in the front garden and the back garden. So, ayun. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we will try it out. So I think only problem for solar is it's only it will run if it is in the sun. That's the only problem, lang. But nakakatipid naman ng kuryente. Put that on the bottom. I'll attach this in a minute. Also, it comes with all these little heads, so we mm. can we can yes. figure out what, what we want. Yeah. <laughs> what type of water and I was informed recently that um, birds like moving water. But wait, this isn't even for the birds. It's a bird bath. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you hear those children? Yeah. You hear the traffic? The best part about a water fountain is that it kind of like drowns out that noise. And the reason I want one is because my neighbors have one. I'm like, oh, it sounds so pretty. And maybe birds will come. I think it's more likely that raccoons will be like, water fountain? <laughs> hey, but we like that, don't we? <laughs> my mom one day was like, here, take this pail of rocks. Because apparently, my grandma was collecting them, which is very sweet. So I'm gonna use these rocks, I think, in my fountain to kind of hide this and also That's keep what the I water in well. there. That's my logic. These That's are really freaking acorns. What the heck? Do you think my grandma collected acorns, or do you think a squirrel found its way into this egg? Look how pretty these rocks are. Oh man. I feel like grandma did something bad. I feel like you're not supposed to take rocks. Is this like a map? Oh my gosh. Grandma. <laughs> Myrtle Beach State Park. Oh yeah, you're definitely You guys cannot get mad at me. This is <laughs> this is my grandma situation. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's much better. Oh my goodness. Grandma, I have questions. Fill it with some water. I really hope this works, I have no idea. Ready? So how sunny does it need to be? <gasps> Wait, what was that? It's <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that's the only problem if you have solar. <gasps> like, you look need at the to air have that's that sunshine. <laughs> Ironically, I didn't get one that plugged in because I was like, I don't have a plug. Guess what? I just weaved up here. Plug. So Rachel, yeah. I'm just gonna need you to stand right here for the rest of the day. The more sunny it gets, the higher it goes. Oh, <laughs> Power. Well, <laughs> what lid do we want? I like the like little. The little well, yeah, especially because then it doesn't go everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Concept. Concept? 10 out of 10. Execution? You tell me. A little moment. Kitsch but cute. Especially if you have a sturdy wall. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So I really wanted to get some lighting in the back here above the couch and I have put up three sets of string lights of which squirrels have chewed through. So this is my next plan, which is 
these little solar powered lights from Ikea. This is a basket. <laughs> and maybe we'll just make a little like chandelier moment hanging from the tree, but it'll be hanging from the tree with like chain instead of any kind of cords. Why do squirrels like cords? I really don't know what the legalities are around drilling into a tree that's not on your property but hangs over your property. But I feel like anything over my property. I haven't I seen any squirrels game. yet in my in garden, backyard, but some of my friends' garden, and they've they seen it was their uh, squirrels. And, and we saw it on their front so, steps. Yeah, them, I don't blame them. Same in this situation, <laughs> I do not blame them. This is not your property. <laughs> I have to clean up this. Wait, do I? But this is guy. This... Yes. Whose territory is that? Squirrels. <laughs> Squirrels Raccoon. territory. Okay. So maybe a little. I think I need a little pilot hole. Remember that time the squirrels chewed the string lights so I didn't put up string lights, but instead I put in stuff in their tree? Oh, you don't want me to put string lights on the fence? Okay, well I'm taking over your tree. It's very nice. No, sorry girls, I'm going to use my ideas. Actually, I'm going to see it. A vibe? Isn't better than string lights? Wow! You heard it here first. So while we're on this lighting kick, I'm going to install some string lights here. Under this little pergola area, I just think it'll be cute. Make it more aesthetic. <laughs> Atmosphere, actually. I care more about the lighting vibe than the actual look of string lights, if that makes any sense. Oh dear. <laughs> the shattered piece dropped and shattered into more pieces. How did you get some shoes on? Okay. Let there be light. Should we see? That's nice. Cool. Okay, so believe it or not, this light replacement came in the nick of time and I just hope it's the right size simple nothing crazy it's really hard to find one that like clears these doors and everything you know I mean I think we're okay did I turn off the breaker yes I did there be light. That was one of the last big things to do. So, I think it's final touch time. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Very vibey. how this face turned out. That's nice. Very nice. Holy. I can barely remember what this place looked like before, but we do have video proof that it was messy, dull, and not at all cohesive. I think the dark wood tones, blacks and greens really play with the color of the brick and the whites of the windows, which were something that I really couldn't change. That's why you need to envision 
your a plan para at least magiging maganda yung kahinatnan ng project mo. This part of the backyard was arguably the worst with the weird downspout situation, dated lattice, and all of the cracked concrete. Now it's sleek and clean and the tones are so easy on the eye. And the built-in garbage storage is, not gonna lie, probably my favorite part of the whole backyard. I'm such a nerd. And this, this is exactly what I had envisioned. Hiding for rubbish or bin bag, bin bins. A cozy space where I can hang out on a Sunday afternoon or a Thursday evening with friends throughout hopefully every single season. The sliding doors are a great choice because it gave me more freedom with the furniture layout, which speaking of, the Lubeck sectional from Article is definitely one of the stars of the entire outdoor space. Very nice. This little pergola was one of the things I fell in love with when touring the home. So I'm glad that with a few small or like kind of majorish changes, I've been able to bring a new spacious and modern life to it. But with so many practical elements like the extendable table and benches that give access to garbage bins. And why do string lights make any space automatically better? Honestly, I love everything so much but i'm sure i'll see you in the comments where we'll chat more about your thoughts thank you so much for tuning into another episode of making home and i'll be sure to see you next time bye that's good Bale, itong gagawin natin is um, local naman sa Philippines. So, this is from LOI, which is the famous, one of the famous uh, DIYer. And um, magaling, magaling siya sa makeovers ng mga houses. And basta maganda yung kanyang style. So, I like her as well. It's just like the others that I'm watching. So... I will share with you the information, the, all the, the tricks and the hacks of interior designing, especially sa Philippines. So, or if you have a small house, this is kind of cool. Apparently, she went to Leyte, I think, somewhere. Um, this is just a recent, um, video. Uh, I think, uh, they went to her, Yaya or Nani in the Philippines when she was little um, and they want her to they want the whole family her kids I hear kids her sorry her <laughs> brothers I should say when they were kids Yaya nila ya, siya so um, they went to surprise her for a makeover so, ganun. So, let us watch her video. Very hot, warm, and This is L and welcome to a very, very, very special episode dahil ang may makeover natin today is bahay ni Yaya Leti. Si Yaya Leti is Yaya namin since matagal na matagal na since birth, ganun, ganung level. Actually, dalawa silang Yaya namin, si Yaya Tas tsaka si Yaya Leti. Unfortunately, wala na si Yaya Tas noong 2020 January. And para namin silang second parents, ganung level. Sila mami, tsaka sila papa. Kampante yan. Kaya rin, magbabakasyon sila one month, ganun. Wala silang winiwari dahil alam nilang yung mag-aalaga. Go. Meron, meron talaga. Si Ayatas. Oh. 
forward natin kasi napindot ko. So, anyway, um, bale, in the Philippines, I think it's the same as here as well, but uh, in the Philippines, if you have, if you're in the middle class, mostly, um, especially if you're a b- very busy parent or parents or a father or mother, single, ganon, single parent, um, you need to have somebody to look after your kids. So, basically, they will hire a nanny or a yaya, we call it. Ako, nagkaroon ako ng yaya since nung bata ko, but that was only for short short time. Because, you know, I, I I think maybe my mom wanted me to be taken care of from her. Yung parang alagaan lang niya ako rather than may mag-alagang iba, kaso lang, especially if you have kids, three kids, it's it's hard, but, anyway, but, uh, yeah, it, uso talaga sa Pilipinas yung ganyan, di ba, guys, mga fellow Filipinos, uh, we, we have chambermaids, our relatives, so, I salute all our uh, kababayans who are OFW, serving as a chambermaid all over the world and also serving um as a chambermaid sa Pilipinas, mga katulong, yaya, tulad ng mga kasama namin si Manang Cynthia at uh, saka the rest of the uh, our relative who are who are helping us sa ngayon. Thank you and shout out sa inyo diyan sa Ilocos so and my family and also my husband's family sa Leyte and sa Dipolog and sa Cavite as well. So ayun. So let us continue. Meron meron talaga. Si Ayatas all around 'yun as in una originally mananahi siya ni Mommy, naging yaya lang namin siya tapos cook sa pagluto ng mismo na luto niya. Nag driver din siya sa school hatid sundo as in Sad ako. And actually, nandito ako sa bahay niya ngayon. Ito yung bahay niya. Uh, sana nagawa ko rin to, no? Pero, anyway. So, nga pala, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Wilcon Tipo for partnering with me for this video. As in, super thank you. Nag-approach ako, sabi ko, oy, gagawin ko yung bahay ni Yaya, help me. Tapos sila, go sila. Super thank you. Shopping tayo ng Wilcon mamaya. Ang dami kong nabili doon na magaganda. Check out nyo. And, ito na, sama ko na kayo dito sa process natin ng pag-makeover dito sa bahay ni Yaya Lenti. Yaya! Hello. So, anong plano natin sa bahay mo? Sabi mo, pagagandain mo. <laughs> Papagandain talaga natin. Pero ano, meron ka bang request? It, anong ano? Anong pangarap mong makita? <laughs> yung mga kapatid ko. Tsaka si mami daw yung pangarap niya makita. Nag-iisipan ko kung anong plano dahil 3 days lang yung work. Excited ka na? Excited lang. <laughs> yeah, ba't di ka naman mukhang excited? Tignan mo yung naman ako dyan. Seryoso. <laughs> Seryosong seryoso ka naman. Kala ko excited ka. <laughs> so, yun lang. Pagpaplanuhan ko na tong space na ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Dapat, dapat ang tawag gawin natin. Tapos, yung tapos ako ginagawa yan. So, yan. Pinaplano na nila. So, ipo-forward ko na para mas mabilis ng konti. Coastal vibe nga tayo. Ito. Ito yung frame. Look, oh. Like, very kakoy-kakoy. Kaya magkano to? One, two. <laughs> Nagumulaan kami dito. Like, 78 lang siya. Ah, mura. Oh, alikan na. That is welcome. I haven't been there. But they said, she said, that's why it's ah, nice. Baby. So, maybe Ganda. next time Tapos if I go rin. home, Look. we go home back to the Philippines. If you have time, you can visit Wilcon. Kailangan natin bumili ng furniture Thank dahil you. ang meron sila is dining table, yun. Nice. Wala silang sofa, wala silang ganyan. So, andito tayo ngayon ang daming sofa options. Cute, oh. It's very nice. Look, ang oh, ganda. Meron na akong gustong bilhin dito. Nakita ko na. Ito, yung green, look. Sofa bed siya. Tapos, comfy siya. Dito pala sa Wilcon, meron silang design ha. So, kung unsure kayo sa gusto niyong design, sa mga tiles, ganyan. Meron sila dito mga trained na mga designer. Pwede That's kayong gawa good. ng plano para That's bago bibilhin. May imagine nyo na kung ano bibilhin nyo. So, check out nyo yung design hub. Andito na tayo sa flooring. Mamimili tayo. Oh, ay, nakadikit. Hindi ko pwede nga angat. <laughs> Napakita ko sa inyo. Ito ko ng medium tone lang. Like, 
Di ba parang medyo mas bitchy kati G siya? Ayan, nililay out niya muna para makita talaga natin yung itsura. Parang ang ganda, very bitchy talaga. Bagay dito sa ano natin, sa peg natin. Punta na kami kay Ayaleti. Sabi ko, kailangan ko silang bantayan. Talagang maaga ako doon. Ayan, so forward 11.30 kalahating araw na. Ayaw ko ba hinaan yung music kasi fun. So, yun lang. Time lapse. Pinturahan at naayos na. O, oh, tang! Nag-aayos pa kami pero reveal sa'yo. Pasok! Reveal! <laughs> Yan ang kapatid ni Elle. <laughs> Nag-swimming ka lang. Ano yung nangyari? Ang cute! <laughs> That's Ay, his yeah. brother. Uh, Nag-aayos na lang linis. Tapos, mag-aayos na lang ako na itsura ko dahil tunaw na ako yan. <laughs> Paraan, parang hindi na kailangan itong isimento. So, <laughs> tunaw na tunaw na. I-ano ko lang kung ano yung reveal niya. Uh, sige, try natin kung ano to. Ayaw ko ba hinaan yung music kasi fun. So, yun lang. Okay lang. <laughs> yung matagal nga natiis. <laughs> natiis yun pang ilang iminoto, no? <laughs> Finally, natapos na natin tong makeover dito sa bahay ni Yaya Leti. And, hindi ko, inex hindi ko, hindi ko ba inexpect yung result? Actually, ang hindi ko inexpect is matatapos natin siya in 3 days. Pero, titigilan ko na tong kadadaldal ko para pakita ko na sa inyo tong reveal nung bahay niya. Let's go! That's nice! Wow! That's good. So, pagpasok mo ng door, dito, ito, ito nandito na to dati, original pa daw to sa mami par lola pa niya, or basta like antique na to, so iniwan natin siya dyan. Parang inisip ko, ito na yung pinaka foyer table niya, pwede. Tapos, ito, sobrang favorite ko nitong corner na to. Sobrang love ko nitong sofa natin from Wellcon. Di ba, nakita nyo, shinop natin kanina, tapos sofa bed pa to. Pwedeng may matulog dito, extra guest bed. That's And then, good. ito, ang isa sa pinakamalaking binago natin dito, yung... Flooring. As in, ang ganda nung nilagay natin dito. Dahil, di ba, before parang cement lang siya, painted na cement. Nagpalagay tayo ng vinyl. Namili tayo kanina. Di ba yung pinili? Look at the wall. If you notice, she exposed the beam or the, um, ano, yung kahoy. O, oh, oh, ang tawag doon? Beam is sa taas, di ba? Uh, parang, um... Just let let me know what is the main, kung ano yung kung ano yung pangalan niyang ano yung kind of beam pero sa side siya <laughs> parang ganon um so inexpose niya yung yung ano yung wood so it is much beautiful to see at saka yung uh, the, the natural beauty is ano, nandiyan na siya. So, kailangan expose mo siya para mas maganda siyang tignan. Original. Original um, beauty of the house. Nag-evolve. Nag naging, naging maganda siya talaga at malinis. Pili ko yung may texture talaga yung kita yung mga aspect. Gusto kong gawing special tong corner na to. Naglagay tayo dito ng full length mirror. Ang cute ng mirror like na to. Gusto did. ko yung wood niya. Like very beachy. Bagay siya dun sa theme natin. Tapos naglagay tayo dito ng artwork. Tapos dito naman sa isang wall pa natin ulit. Ito yung existing nila na TV cabinet. Pinapaint ko lang ng very seafoam green yung color. Very pale, very soft. Wala, ang ganda lang yan. Nagmunga siyang bago. Like, ang fresh nung color niya. Then, itong dining space natin. Sobrang ganda ng table. Ito yung... So, by the way, yung pinasinaw niya kanina na parang the, the, the cabinet that she had shown earlier. Um, she just did a DIY. She just used or re repurposed the cupboard or the cabinet. Just painted it with fresh color. And that's it. Yun ang, ano, nakakatipid pa sila. So, they saved a lot of money because of that. So, ganun din ang minsan ang ginagawa namin dito. But if you can't save it, then obviously, you can probably just take some bits like the handles and stuff like that. Kung talagang it's not, uh, it's not going to, to, re to be reused again. At least you can have the handles and stuff like that para at least hindi, na, hindi ka na mabili so that you're not gonna buy another handle or another, you know, um, anong tawag nun kasi? 
uh, mga mga metal handles gano. <laughs> uh, paulit-ulit na handles ng handles. Pasensya na kasi medyo late na rin tayo na nagma-vlog. So, eto, tuloy na natin para matapos na. Ito yung nandun sa ano nila before, nakabalot nung parang linoleum. So, nung nakita ko, ang ganda nung kahoy, nara pa ata to. Nice. Kaya kinip natin siya, tapos nilagyan lang natin siya ng sealer. And then, pinartner natin siya dito sa parang fresh lang na white na chair. Ito yung binili rin natin kanina, ang ganda niya. Then, of course, naglagay tayo ng chandelier like dito sa ibabaw nung It's dining table natin. Yung pinili natin curtain is yung very soft lang. Parang halos ano lang siya, uh, monochromatic lang siya with the wall. And, of course, yung mga poste. Gusto kong i-highlight yung mga poste yeah. nila na kahoy. Kaya, pinilagyan natin siya ng walnut na stain. And, sobrang, sobrang perfect niya. Sobrang cute niya. And, doon naman tayo sa bedroom area. Alika. So, dito talaga kasi nakapwesto yung bed ni Aya Leti. So, parang ang idea ko, gusto ko siyang ma-divide lang ng konti, pero ayoko siya, parang lagyan talaga ng wall para presko pa rin, maaliwalas, maluwag pa rin, tignan. Itong existing nila to na cabinet na nandyan, It's naisip like, ko, sakto to, perfect to na size para maging divider. So, itong... So, it's like a um, bachelor's pad, parang ganon. Parang, or, or flat, parang ganon. So, pero wala lang siyang proper na divider. Para, kasi maliit lang kasi yung space eh. So, that's a good idea. Itong likod, ito, ito yung kulay nung no? yung TV stand natin, pinapaint natin dito para mag-pop rin yung table against dyan. And then, ito na yung bedroom ni Yaya. Let's go! So, nung tinanong natin si Yaya, ano bang gusto niya? Gusto niya ng parang blue color, yun daw yung favorite color niya. Yun yung nilagay natin color dito sa bed nook niya para syempre ma-highlight tong space na to. And, like... Sobrang perfect kasi di ba itong wall na to, dating bintana to, tinanggal nila, isip ko, ano bang magandang pamamaraan para hindi na kailangan tong isemento. Ayun yun, ayan, ayun yung ginawa natin, nilagay natin tong artwork. Mukhang mukha siyang nagmukha siyang style, nagmukha siyang sadya. Then dito sa bed area niya, ang cozy naman dito, nakakatuwa. Ayan, dito meron din tayong nook kasi dati ata may pass-through dito. Ngayon, naglagay lang ako dyan ng mga pictures namin. Pick namin talaga kasi yun yung request niya. So, ganun talaga. <laughs> yung mga picture namin ng bata, nilagay natin dyan. Tapos, ayan, naglagay na tayo ng konting black elements para magmatch dun sa black elements dun sa kabilang side. That's good. Did you know that doing DIY, gardening and stuff like that in the house, in your house or other houses, makes you feel more confident, happy, at relaxed? So, yan yung makeover natin Yun, dito parang, sa bahay ni Aya Leti. Sobrang... Parang ano siya eh, um, they remove your anxiety, they make you make make you focused on things that you're going to do, especially at work. Kung, parang especially if you're just doing as a hobby of doing DIYs, home, uh, homemaker, or homemaker, or, you know, like, like, um, natin kanina, ang ganda niya. Then of course, naglagay tayo ng chandelier dito sa ibabaw nung dining table natin. Yung pinili natin curtain is yung very soft lang. Parang halos ano lang siya, uh, monochromatic lang siya with the wall. And of course, yung mga poste. Gusto kong i-highlight yung mga poste nila na kahoy. Kaya pinilagyan natin siya ng walnut na stain. And sobrang, sobrang perfect niya. Sobrang cute niya. And doon naman tayo sa bedroom area. Alika. So dito talaga kasi nakapwesto yung bed ni Aya Leti. So, parang ang idea ko, gusto ko siyang ma-divide lang ng konti, pero ayoko siya, parang lagyan talaga ng wall para presko pa rin, maaliwalas, maluwag pa rin tignan. Itong existing nila to na cabinet na nandyan, naisip ko, sakto to, perfect to na size para maging divider. So, itong likod, ito, ito yung kulay no, yung TV stand natin, pinapaint natin dito para mag-pop rin yung table against dyan. And then, ito na yung bedroom ni Yaya. Let's go! So, nung tinanong natin si Yaya, ano bang gusto niya? Gusto niya ng parang blue color, yun daw yung favorite color niya. Yun yung nilagay natin color dito sa bed nook niya para syempre ma-highlight tong space na to. And like, sobrang perfect kasi ba diba, itong wall na to, dating bintana na to, tinanggal nila, isip ko, ano bang magandang pamamaraan para hindi na kailangan tong isemento. Ayan yung, ayan, ayan yung ginawa natin, nilagay natin tong artwork. Nagmukha siyang, nagmukha siyang style, nagmukha siyang sadya. Then dito sa bed area niya, ang cozy naman dito, nakakatuwa. 
Ayan, dito meron din tayong nook kasi dati ata may pass-through dito. Ngayon, naglagay lang ako dyan ng mga pictures namin. Pic namin talaga kasi yun yung request niya. So, ganun talaga. <laughs> yung Maayos mga picture namin ng bata, nilagay natin dyan. Tapos, ayan, naglagay na tayo ng konting black elements para magmatch match dun sa black elements dun sa kabilang side. That's good, eh? Very nice. makeover natin dito sa bahay ni Aya Leti. Sobrang akong happy sa result. As in, may enjoy na niya to araw-araw. Ito na yung kamumulatan niya, pagising niya, araw-araw. Sobrang akong happy. Again, thank you, thank you so much to Wilcon Depo for partnering with me for this video, for making this makeover possible for Aya Leti. Tangina pa siya nag-aantay dun. So, i-reveal na natin to sa kanya. Hopefully, magustuhan niya. Ito yung reaction niya. Pero, Yan lang. Sobrang special sa akin itong makeover na to. Kaya, alika na nga. I-reveal na natin to sa kanya. Let's go. Ay, Jerry, sige. Sige, wala daya. Daya, ah, dali. Naalala niya yan. Anong itsura dati? Alam ko. Tandang-tanda mo. Tandang-tanda. Okay. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Wow! Ang ganda! Hello. 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 Ang ganda. Anak niya yan. Ano nga nasabi mo? Parang hindi na ito dito sa Barangay Santa Elena. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pangkondo na. Pangkondo na. <laughs> si Jerry, <laughs> anak ni Yaya Leti. Kaya na natin siya, katulong natin siyang gumagawa dito. The whole time, kinukontra ko. Huwag na daw, sayang ang pera, mahal. Sabi ko, abangan mo lang yung result natin. Ano mo sasabi mo? <laughs> Tapos, oh, ganda. O yeah, ito yung table mo. Inunun na natin. O, oh, malaki pinagbago mo. Maganda. Parang... Tapos yung mga ano, bago lahat. Tapos, dun sa kwarto mo, alika. Nanilagay ko itong divider dito, ya. Yeah. Para hindi ka kita agad. Kasi yan, mga picture natin, yung binigay ko kanina, oh, no. binigay ko dito. O, oh, nandito rin si Jerry. O, sabi ko sa'yo, di ba? Ha? Ay, kaya ko ba? Ano, Jerry? <laughs> ano? Hindi, hindi, hindi yung kakita nila. Speechless. 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 <laughs> Ada ya, ada ya. So yun mga friends, um, hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share on my channel, all of my videos linked in YouTube um, and hope to see you again soon. Salamat sa mga... Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of my ever loyal um, subscribers. And hopefully, we're going to be more going up until we reach 1,000. Uh, really. So, I shall see you soon. And may God bless you all. Take care, good night, good morning, good afternoon. Bye!